and welcome to the Next in Line podcast where we are helping to prepare you for whatever is next in line. As always, I am your host, Chance Pitts, and I'd like to thank you for tuning into this episode. Guys and gals, welcome into another episode of the podcast. It is Thoughtful Thursday, and we are very excited that you are here listening with us today. Guys, as you know, we have a little bit of housekeeping. If you receive value from this episode or any other episode of the podcast, We would ask that you share the show with like-minded individuals who might be able to receive that same kind of value. That's the number one way for us to grow as a podcast and a movement and as a vessel for helping people, um, whether that's through motivation, inspiration, or just information. Guys, another way you can help us grow and reach a larger audience is by liking, subscribing, commenting, Uh, leaving us a rating or review on whatever platform you find yourself listening on. That's going to help us pop up in that search bar a little bit earlier when people look for personal development or self-help type podcasts. Um, And like I said, guys, when we reach more people, we're able to help more people. And that's the overall goal here at Next in Line. Now, guys, just a few headlines I want to run through with y'all while I've got you here. Uh, We've got the Habanero 100 coming up in about a week and a half, not even a week and a half whenever this uh, podcast drops. Very exciting. It's my first 100-mile race. Um, Had a little bit of a knee thing going on here lately, so we've kind of been not really able to do a lot of practicing and running like we've been wanting to, um, but that is okay. It's all part of it, uh, part of the process, and we'll get it worked out like always, but Guys, another thing we have going on that would be a great headline is that we are going to drop a podcast on Monday that you are going to want to tune into. Uh, We have the awesome Corey Mitchell on the podcast. He's got a great story of overcoming a lot of adversity in his life, uh, deciding to give his life to Christ. Also, his story and his journey through ultra running uh, and his road to redemption this year as he tries to take on Habanero 100 one more time. It's going to be super exciting. I know I'm going to love that show, um, and I'll get value out of it if nobody else does. But, guys, I know you're going to get awesome things out of that that show and that episode as well. But, guys, I don't want to to delay any more. I want to talk to you all today about something that was on my mind. Now, remember, these Thoughtful Thursdays are out of situations that pop in my head. They are thoughts that come to my mind. Little nuggets of wisdom is what I called them on the first episode that I dropped. Um, and that's what I want to talk to y'all about today. Um, I kind of was struggling with a lot of things this week and this past week as well. Uh, we've had a lot on our plate. There's been a lot of things falling kind of not in our favor here lately on the personal life, professional life, and, uh, in the workout side of things and the physical and active side of my life as well. So it's kind of just been one of those things where it's been a little bit of a stressor. And I've carried a lot of that around with me, Um, the negativity, the stress, all those different factors that are all things that I come on here and I talk about not doing. I talk about letting it roll off your back. I talk about taking a step back, taking a deep breath, realizing all the things that you have to be thankful for. And I haven't done a good job of that lately. So while I was cruising around, I do a lot of driving for work and my sales role that I have. So I had this thought come to my head while I was driving, and it was kind of an analogy in a lot of ways. It was that we only have the capacity to carry a certain amount of things around with us at all times, and it reminded me of times I've been backpacking, and it's reminded me of times whenever I went on vacation. And I really want to stick to the backpacking side of the analogy for now, because I feel like that best suits this situation for us. So I want to go ahead and dive into that, guys. Think about you packing your bags to be able to go on an overnight backpacking trip. You're going to be camping out in the woods somewhere, and you want to make sure that you have everything that you need in order to be successful. Now, a few of the items that you might pack in your bag would probably be something along the lines of some extra clothes, some food, a tent, maybe a sleeping bag, some extra socks for sure. I know that's within clothes, but I feel like it's its own important and separate item. Um, A lighter, some tinder to be able to light a fire. Uh, You're going to want to be able to have clean drinking water, so maybe a water filter, maybe some iodine tablets. Uh, You're going to want to, of course, have a dry sack, uh, have some things that you can keep your money, your phone, all those great things dry. So maybe some Ziploc bags. Uh, Maybe if you're up in bear country, you'd have some bear spray. You'd probably have a headlamp so that you can see at night. 
And then maybe you even have sunscreen or a bug net and just kind of a wide variety of those kind of things. You maybe have a pocket knife, um, maybe a alternative phone charger, some eating utensils, maybe even a cup so you're able to uh, drink your purified water from that water filter you packed as well. But the thing I want to talk about is that all of these things that you've decided to pack in this bag are all things that are used to serve you. Now, they fall somewhere under that basic needs of humans categories that we talk about, and it depends on who you ask, but there's usually about five that people talk about in the form of food, water, shelter, clothing, and sleep. Those are all the things that we need in order to survive as humans, and each and every one of these things that you pack in the bag backpacking is something that helps you get to that end. It is a means to an end for helping you survive and helping you stay comfortable while you're out on this trip so that you can enjoy yourself and that you can thrive in the wilderness. So whenever you are packing that bag, I want you to really think about all these items that fell in to this packing list. And I know we talked about all of these items serving you, but a lot of them fall under that nourishment category. You packed some food. You packed a water filter so that you can get water. You packed a source of fuel and a lighter to be able to cook your food and to be able to accept that nourishment into your body by getting it cooked and making it edible. You also had maybe the knife, maybe the mosquito net, maybe the tent, all as a form of protection under that shelter kind of list that we talked about. Then, guys, there's also some of those things that fall under a category of rest and recovery, like the sleep side. You packed some things so that you will be able to sleep. You packed a bedroll. You packed clean clothes so you'll be comfortable. A tent. All of those things. Maybe even that bug net falls under that category, too. But you packed things so that you would be able to rest and recover. All of these wonderful things that you found yourself enjoying, having, and benefiting from kind of have a little bit of a caveat to them. You are only able to carry so many things. So all of these different items, why they might seem like they're a great thing to pack, you had to meticulously pick through a list and make sure that they were a viable option. Make sure that the weight that they carried or that they would add to your pack was worth the value in return that you were going to get out of it. So you had to weigh those options. You had to decide that Whatever you put in that pack was going to be worth bringing with you and worth carrying and worth handling that extra weight. And the other side is not just on the weight side and the capacity of you being able to carry it. Your pack's only so big. So you probably had to cut out some other items that weren't as useful. And that's really where I want to get into the analogy for this one, guys, is that every single day we walk around with this vessel. We walk around with this body. We walk around with our head on our shoulders, our soul inside of us, whatever you believe, whatever you want to picture, guys. We walk around with a limited capacity for the things that we can handle in life and the things that we can successfully utilize. We pack in all these different things that we try to take on. We have work. We have our personal lives. We have the fitness side of things. We have our finances. There's a million different categories that we could all pack into here. And here's the thing, guys. You're going to be needing to carry around literacy for every single one of those. You're going to have to even carry around literacy for these basic needs that we talked about in the form of food, water, shelter, clothing, and sleep on a daily basis so that you can actively function and survive in society. So I would say whenever we have a limited capacity and we already know we're going to have to carry all of these useful things around with us, there is no room in the pack for certain items. We have to cut them out. And it's very, very easy for us to want to try to carry those things along with us. And those things aren't particularly things that serve us. However, they somehow end up hitching a ride with us and coming along for the ride. And those things are typically stress their anxiety, their worries about finances or whether this certain aspect of your life is going to work out exactly like you'd planned it. And we stress so much over all these small things in life and these things that in honestly in a handful of years won't even matter. We stress so much about all these different things going on that we think are so important that we allow ourselves to be burdened with them. We allow ourselves to be encumbered by this large amount of just honestly shit 
that we carry around with us on a daily basis. And it weighs us down mentally. It weighs us down whenever we go to try to do our workouts. We feel tired. We feel fatigued. Whenever we're in our work day, we find ourselves just after lunch falling asleep and we're tired and we're wishing the day was over, but we still got four hours left on the clock before we can go home without getting in trouble. And we really have to get to a point as people as trying to develop in this process that we talk about with personal development and self-help we have to get to a point to where we don't bring those things with us and we surely don't bring them home with us we learn to set those things down and let them stay in the closet stay in the house in storage wherever it is that means that we don't bring them with us and guys I'm speaking to myself as much as I am to y'all right now I have struggled with this this week just tremendously y'all know we're buying a house there's some things that have gone back and forth over and over closing dates have been pushed back left and right Um, there's been no amount of certainty in this process at all and my wife's over here she probably attests to that too if she had a microphone but then on the other side I've had a little bit of knee pain guys so I'm freaking out because I'm a week and a half away from my race and I've got issues with my knee so I'm walking and icing and just taking it easy and trying to recover when I should be running. And then guys on just kind of on the other side of things, work's been crazy. It's overwhelming me and it honestly has gotten very, very busy, but that's okay. The thing is, the thing that I have not done well these last couple of weeks at least is that I have carried all of those burdens along with me. I've carried them and I've filled up my pack with all of those things that don't serve me and don't have a positive return for the weight that they bring into my life. So what I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to start taking those things out of my pack. I'm going to start letting them go. I'm going to start leaving them at home and I'm going to move on in the direction that I need to move, carrying only the things that serve me and move me in the direction that I am trying to go with my life. And guys, that's really all I had for you today, but I will leave you on this thoughtful Thursday with one question. What are you carrying in your bag?